I was born and raised in north central Illinois. Working for Eberdroller Renewables has been great. It's given me an opportunity that I otherwise wouldn't have had in a rural area because I wanted to stay around a rural setting, but I would have had to otherwise commute somewhere more suburban if I wanted something related to what I studied in school, which was electronics. So it, it means a lot to me for a company like Eberdroller Renewables to interact with the community and take advantage of the wind resource we have in the area and harness it for a good purpose. Ebadrill Renewables does impact the job market, especially around here, because there's not a lot of good paying jobs on offer, especially the way the economy is right now. So bringing in this type of clean power between the construction and the operation and maintenance jobs, I mean, it's, it's had a big impact on keeping people employed. Yeah, this area, currently we have uh, about eight direct Evadrol employees and about 20 third-party contractors. And when the warranty period goes up, all the workers will be direct Evadrol employees. Evadrol Renewables on this Coogee Ridge wind farm, we have 150 2.0 megawatt Gamesa turbines. It's a 300 megawatt facility. Throughout the project, we've accumulated over 330,000 man hours. Um, kind of put that in perspective about 160 guys for a whole year working regular weeks. So at our peak, you know, we were running approximately 225, 230 guys. Um, a lot of guys, a lot of man hours, a lot of work. Um, it has a significant impact. Um, you know, I was talking about the hours earlier. About 75% of those hours are local employees or local workers. So it has a direct, immediate impact um, on the surrounding communities, from our fuel guy to uh, local restaurants, local gas stations. Um, all those people are, are positively impacted by the project, and, and some of them pretty substantially. So it's definitely a positive for the surrounding communities. We sold the Ibadrola Renewables close to a quarter of a million gallons of fuel during the duration of this project. It came at a good time with economic turndown. A lot of our other industrial accounts were in a, a slower mode and it helped pick up some of that slack. I think it's a, a great thing for the community, for the rural area. There's not a lot else that comes to mind that would create the economic benefits that it can generate. The wind farms have meant a lot to us. It's meant a lot to uh, not only the Livingston County itself, but also to all the communities with the, uh, the taxes they're going to realize for uh, fire departments, for just everyone that uh, relies on the tax base. Good spot, guys. Hey, well, where we're standing right now is in the Cullum Community Market here in Cullum, Illinois. The community market is open as a community effort after it had closed was put together by shares purchased by local people, and then we were assisted in getting open by a grant from the Economic Development Council here in Livingston County that was funded, I think, primarily by uh, Eberdrola Renewables. We spent uh, a little over a year and a half without a store here where we had to drive 20 miles to, to get anything as simple as uh, canned goods that, that we couldn't get at the local convenience store, which is a gas station type convenience store. We did. We had no fresh meat, no produce, and now we don't have to drive that 20 miles. All in all, it's benefited everyone. I enjoy the wind turbines. I think they're peaceful looking. They're reminiscent of, the, you know, the old Dutch windmills to me. There's very little opportunity for new industry in, in, a, in a rural area like this, and uh, the wind farms having come to town uh, helped with a lot of different agencies. It helped with additional funding for the community building here that we're using for new ceilings and uh, to uh, fix up the American Legion room. Yeah, it's made a tremendous impact in our small community. It's difficult to start a business in a small population area, so every little bit helps. A lot of these older buildings didn't have the facilities to, to handle uh, modern code requirements. So funding that was made possible by the wind farms helped to pay for new ADA bathrooms for our coffee shop. The wind farm, uh, when complete and fully on the tax rolls, will generate uh, enough money to increase our assessed valuation by about 10 percent. 
uh, which is a, a very good big plus for the for the high school. Additional income can help us keep in place the teaching staff that we have. It will completely replace our boiler system that we have in place now. It'll add air conditioning to some very vital parts of our building that we don't have now. Our auditorium is nearly unusable during the summer and early fall months and late spring uh, just because of the heat. This extra money at this point is certainly going to be helpful in keeping our quality programs in place. One of the nice rewarding things about being in the wind industry is the way that the benefits flow to the community is very direct. It's very direct to the local community in the form of property taxes and landowner payments. You know, they've used money in different grants for small businesses and also to help this uh, payment for the Law and Justice Center that's currently being built right now. It's very rewarding to know that our project had a part of that.